This comes from the book, uh, The Questions Are the Answers by Alan Pease, P-E-A-S-E. It's, uh, I think I even have an online version of it, but <clears throat> and if I do, I'll put it <clears throat> in the chat, chat box. But how I, how Marty taught me how to do it is uh, before you do much of anything else, you say, do you know why people start a network business like Shackley? And get that question out right in front. You know, I know Case Out talked about it in Chicago about using the word Case um, uh, Shackley soon up, uh, soon in the program. And if they, people say no, then that gives you permission to go uh to say well let me show you if people say yes i know why people start you say why and is there anything else and is there anything else and is there anything else and when they're done then you show these these um topics and say well, let me show you why people do this which one of these is most important to you right now and there's no one right answer just pick one and then the questions that go along with that are, why did you pick that one? Why is that important to you? What happens if you don't achieve it? What would that look like? What would that feel like? And he spends time exploring the painful options of not achieving it, right? And so uh, then what's your plan to achieve it? And if you have a plan, great. Is it going to meet your needs in the next three to five years? And if you don't have a plan, would you like to hear one? <laughs> and that gets people in a state of readiness to listen to the opportunity. And see, that is beautiful. You want to read out the um, the, the options that you give people, telling them it doesn't make any difference which one, but are there any of these things? Do you guys understand why this process and how this fits and how valuable this is? Do you see this? It's not just kind of like, oh, yeah, we're going around a circle. Yeah. This, Go ahead, Richard. This, this tells, this lets you find out from someone very quickly what they're interested in. And, you know, we've been studying and studying and studying about how to ask questions and asking seven questions and keep going. Well, this gets it right away to the issue of, of what's important to you at this moment. I've had college students say, leave a legacy. And I've had college students say, financial freedom. And I've had people who are more closer to our age say things like personal development or more spare time. I want to be with my children more. You want to read those different options, Richard? So do you see how important these first two steps are? And do you see how valuable it is to really have these and, and have the tools and be able to do this? Is this helpful? So you want to like role play it for a minute? Yeah. So um, Richard, role play it with with somebody. Role play it with somebody we haven't talked to. Betsy. Say hello to Betsy. Betsy. Yeah, Betsy. Betsy. Are you there, Betsy? I am. So um do you know why people start a networking business like Shackley? Um, for a variety of reasons, yeah. I've got some ideas. Well what are they? What kinds of things do you know? entrepreneurial spirit like to decide what they want to do when mm -hmm. anything else um unlimited income okay they can have fun with the people that they're with and they get to choose who they are <laughs> mm, sounds like you know something about this anything else <laughs> um life's a journey and you just you know it's it's nice to have fun helping other people along the way Nice. Anything else? That's that's a good start. Okay. Uh, can I show you? Sure. Okay. And that's when I show this list. Okay. And I'll bring it up and say, so these are some of those reasons. Now, for you, Betsy, if you were going to have to pick one today, 
right now for your current situation, which of these would be the most important to you right now? I'm sorry, not which ones, which one is the most important to you now? Sorry. Financial freedom is the most important one right now. Really? Yes. And can I ask why is that important? Because I am tired of living paycheck to paycheck mm -hmm. and not afraid to do this now. Really? Well, that's interesting. So uh, can I ask you some more things? Uh, if uh, So you have something in mind for financial, um, for more income, right? Yes. Financial freedom. Okay. So if, uh, do you have a plan for doing that now? No. Okay. Um, so if you didn't weren't able to achieve that in the next three to five years wh what would your life be like i'd be sleeping in my car <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, and i'm guessing that's not a camper no okay um would that worry you yeah <laughs> a lot so so you so you you know you need a plan b or an option right Yes. And you're looking for an option. Yes. Can I share one with you? Absolutely. Okay, great. Now, if I understand you correctly, you'd like to be able to have some cash flow, let me put it that way, or income that you could do, that you could see that you could do, right? That yes. seems reachable for you, that could provide you with some independent income regard outside of what you're already doing. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Well, sounds like this is a great place for us to start. Can I tell you a little bit about what we're doing? I would love to hear it. Okay. To, by the way, do you like working with teams of people or do you like to work by yourself? I like to do both. Really? Yep. Right. That makes you like a leader. Do you like to be off on your own and by yourself? Is that right? Well, I don't, I, I like to do small groups of people and do one-on-one -on -one type things. Sounds like also you have, you, if there was a good mission, a good reason for doing something, you could get behind that. Absolutely. And so what and are the kind stay of there. <laughs> you know, Right. So what are the things that really get you to say, these are the things that I'm really committed to? in my life to support and enhance and promote and advocate. As in actions? Mm -hmm. As in ideals? Yes, all of those. I I like to I like to listen to people. People feel comfortable talking to me about themselves. Mm -hmm. I like um being authentic and um, honoring people and helping them to be their best selves. If there's a way to improve something and that we can all get behind it together, okay. those are the types of things that I like. I like building teams like that. Okay. So what, are there any missions that are things that you're more attracted to than others? Um, families, health, nutrition. Okay. Avoiding toxins. That's been my life. So, you know, leaving the earth in a better place than we found it sort of a thing? Absolutely. And so if you could work with a team of people that had that mission, and that they had a worldwide mission or um, a lifetime mission to do that. Th those would be kind of people you'd want to meet and hang out with. Absolutely. Nice. And 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 if there was an organization that um, had as its mission to win the Nobel Peace Prize, what would you think about that? Oh well, I'd say they were on the right track. <laughs> yeah. 
That's the weirdest thing I ever heard. When I heard this company said their their goal was to win the Nobel Peace Prize, it's like, that's like makes my head explode. Yeah. Well, that takes um, you a little I, bit beyond the blue zone, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Would that, I'm not knocking uh, them. <laughs> so would you like to talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, I need a plan. So that's where I'm, I'm heading in that direction. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. How's that? Is that enough? Richard, that was stellar. That was stellar. absolutely stellar. That was brilliant. What did you guys hear? An expert question and listener. Really good. That was excellent. That was excellent, Richard. And do you guys see how it all started just in those first two sections? Those yeah. first two parts of the square. We didn't get into, you know, what am I going to take them to and all the rest of that. But yeah. it's really just those are of the of the first two steps. Those are those and and then the, the third one that Queso says, the third one, let me see if I can pull this up for the third one. So at some point, like Richard said. Do you see how valuable these first two steps are? That we we really have, I mean, Richard, you did a brilliant job. So now you've got something to connect with. So what's next? So one of the next things can be, tell me who some people are that you think would like to be on your team. And that can be high tech and high touch and, you know, find out what kinds of activities people are involved in. This is where you can start getting names with people that you can begin to talk to. And this is where you go with them and go through the same first couple of steps. But guess what? We may spend a lot of time up here. You may invite them to one of these events or invite them to coffee or just invite them to visit or invite their kids over or, you know, meet them for pickleball or whatever it happens to be, but to get connected with them. But you see how valuable these first steps are? I mean, to me, it was like so brilliant. And then yes, we can invite them to explore the opportunity. That might be the Monday night presentation or whichever thing you're doing with that. And yes, there will be a time that you'll get in and actually do the comp plan. And remember, part of this is ambassador orientation when you're ready. And that's solid start next Tuesday. That's what we do is bring people to what are the different steps that you can go through. And then what Queso says is this, the next most important step right here, step six follow up and follow through, mm -hmm. staying connected with them, questions, interest, just reconnecting. And so I love the simplicity of all this consistency, beginning to mentor, but do you see how it all fits together? This is just another variation of it. Just looks exactly the same thing. It just looks different. But do you see how this, I found this was really valuable for me is how important it is to just spend time in those first couple of steps. So Richard, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. So comments, thoughts as we close, I think we're just about to head off to Roland. Scott, any, uh, any. Well, I, I just, thoughts? I just think um, what, what was so great is he, um, he did not jump into the Shackley pitch. And it's it's uh it's so uh I guess it's just part of our it's part of our human nature to jump into the Shackley pitch because we all want to just just dump out all the Shackley love we have on somebody, but resisting that temptation is the key. And he really uh he did a masterful job at resisting the temptation by keeping the questions going. And then, you know, that adds to the intrigue by the person and, um, and the more questions and, and the more he listens, the more it shows he cares and that he's not just interested in selling something. He's, he's listening and uh, that works, works really well. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 
Thanks, Betsy. That was a great happening. And gosh, Richard, terrific job. Thanks, you guys, for the inspiration. Um, 